Good morning, traders. Welcome to the Stock Market Morning Prep video for Monday, September 28th. Interesting week last week. We had a major reversal on Friday. Late in the afternoon, markets were kind of hanging in there. We had uh, Janet Yellen speaking on Thursday, talking about raising rates. Market felt good about that. Uh, during the pre-market session, the European session, we actually uh, were up nicely. And um, right around the end of the day, we had some big, big sell programs come in. I haven't seen that in a long time. Uh, a lot of it was due to um, the biotech index, pharma, pharmaceutical index. You could see that um, Nasdaq's actually heavily weighted in that sector, so uh, clearly just reversed. Also, we did have some weakness, and I'll show that to you in the charts, in the Russell 2000, the IWM ETF. So keep an eye on that as well. That seems to be a leader when markets top you. So uh, we've been talking about weakness the last couple of weeks. We've got weakness. Um, is it going to continue? Well. I uh, looked at a lot of indicators. I want to keep the video small, uh, uh, tight on time. I don't want to get too overextended with the time. And uh, they're pretty much uh, neutral. McClellan Oscillator is showing a negative 10, so that means there's further downside. Uh, there's plenty of room, I should say, to the downside, okay? Let's get into it right away. Quickly look at the Spider Monthly charts. You can see here, now, we have three more days um, before this thing actually closes fully uh, below the 20-month moving average. First time that's happened in quite some time. Uh, we really need to get that back up above it, or um, this is going to be a real negative reading here, guys. Uh, two closes below the 20-month is not going to be a good thing for the markets, at least in, in the uh, short term. Take a look at the uh, weekly. You can see what I mean. This trend line goes back from October 2012, and we have broken and violated that. And you can see here we came back up, and now we're just kind of uh, chopping along here, uh, testing, retesting the low. Uh, on this candle and then looking for further downside of testing the August 24th low of course that 20 uh, excuse me that uh, uh, weekly 200 weekly moving average will be tested at one point in time now you see that little thin zone here this is what I'm uh, these volume zones you can see we have a, a really really lack of volume coming all the, on the way up this to me tells me that we can actually literally get to 170 in the spiders now this is gonna, not going to happen today or tomorrow but um, could easily get to 170, okay? So um, we need to really see some strength here. We need some sort of change. We need a good catalyst to get this market turning around here. Now, and we're not even oversold. That's the scary part about it. Daily chart of the spiders, you can see here, um, looking at somewhere in that uh, test of the um, this August 24th low, which, which would be about 1825, 1830 in the ES, if you're looking at that. Then if you take a look, further uh, we would be looking at somewhere around 175 uh, which would be 1775 somewhere around there on the ES but as of right now the ETF uh, let's let's keep it really tight to the um, August 24th low if that does seem to happen but right now you can see markets are in trouble here we, 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 we can't get any momentum to the upside every every bit of a pop-up is being sold into so let's just keep that in mind here guys all right so if you are long or if you're uh, um, in some long only funds, uh, maybe tr be best to try to hedge your portfolio in some degree or, or capacity, uh, just in, at least to get through the next two to three weeks. Because October is notorious for um, for a sell off and a reversal actually towards the end of October. So let's see what happens getting ready for that Santa Claus rally. Okay, uh, take a look at the 60 minute, which I like to show you, and uh, we tagged that when Janet Yellen spoke early on. And then we reversed miserably, and now we're kind of stuck in no man's land here. You can see that here. So uh, be careful. This uh, really what to say here. I wouldn't be taking on a lot of positions, and definitely reducing your exposure would be the best thing to do. Transportation Weekly ETF, IYT, you can see here, just really making another bear flag. You know, you can see that, and that's uh, not really a good thing as well. Uh, we lose that. The next target would be that 200 uh, 200 week moving average and again look at the thin zone can we get all the way down here sure absolutely I would not put that uh, put that down um, definitely think that we can uh, move lower right into that area 118 119 in the uh, transports now the, the daily chart the transports actually held up pretty well on Friday based on that reversal what we saw on um, late afternoon but didn't didn't do too bad so 
Let's just keep that in mind here. Um, I think that the Russell, uh, and I'm showing this to you now, here's the weekly Russell. We, we uh, crossed over the 20 and the 50. Massive, massive engulfing red candle here. That's not a good sign, guys. It's really not a good sign. When you have the small caps, really, uh, uh, investors taking risk off, that means that they're unhealthy. They're, they're not um, confident in the marketplace taking on risk. So this is not a good sign here, okay? Let's take a look at the week, a daily, excuse me. You can see here clearly. Uh, now the next target would be that 200, uh, excuse me, the August 24th low of 108.21. Uh, so that looks like it's in the cards and probably will happen. We had, uh, uh, we're down about 12 handles in the ES now. Um, and it looked pretty, looked likely we had a nice little bounce early on. And then we, that's, that was sold into in a European session. So interesting to see uh, what's going to happen in the next couple of days. Diamond, same thing you can see here. Just below the 20, uh, way below the 50 and the 200. So, again, real weakness out there and uh, really needs to be uh, looked after closely for your positions here. Here's the Qs. You can see the Qs. Now, technology has held up pretty well. Uh, when, when I think that the selling is over here, the first thing I'm going to do is take a look at the technology sector and see where we go from there. Also, um, somebody's beating down commodities. Keep an eye on the bonds, too, guys. If you see some selling in bonds, right now it's being, it's being uh, driven on flight to safety. Uh, so people are getting rid of their equities and selling and getting into bonds temporarily. But when that subsides, I would be looking for further weakness in bonds, okay? Hope it helps, everybody. Have a great day. We'll speak to you tomorrow. Take care.